Good morning to you, Neil Armstrong. What that means? Good morning, friends. It's a long time since you referred to me as development analyst. Yeah, I've been itching. To- <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. I mean, yeah. and I know listeners miss you as well. Yeah, the it's been a while. It's been a while, but yes, yes it's all about uh, making the kind of contribution that we need to make to right. society. And um, I'm happy to be here this morning mm. uh, on another journey that we seek to embark with uh, our cherished listeners, exactly. and also with our resource persons who will be sharing insights mm. uh, into the theme that I believe you've been sharing since last week, as exactly. we've built up to the month of money and investment. Mm-hmm. Uh, my role here this morning is very simple. It's just to say a few words about what we seek to achieve uh, okay. through this Money and Investment Month. And then you would have the singular honor to introduce our <laughs> our guest for this morning, Absolutely. Uh, who would also do us the honors of uh, making a short launch statement mm. uh, as to declaring the Money and Investment Month duly launched. Okay. Various people, like we did with the definition of redefining leadership, mm. uh, have certain ideas when it comes to creating wealth and how to grow it. Uh, for us at XYZ, one of the key values that we hold very strongly to is integrity and leadership. So we spoke about leadership in July and this year we are taking a step to talk about integrity Mm -hmm. but speaking about integrity in the context of creating and growing wealth and that's why we put the theme for this year's Money and Investment Month and Summit as being creating and growing wealth in integrity. integrity. So the purpose of this conversation is to is to is to describe to lead to 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 listeners, to define to listeners, to share with listeners perspectives on creating wealth and growing it underpinned by the value of integrity. It's a major part of this conversation because many a time you see people showing off wealth, flaunting their their gains and you wonder how they made the money. How did they make all this wealth? Did they do it in integrity or was it down outside of integrity. Mm. Sometimes in our society, we respect people so much. Oh, Akwawe, oh, we, he has this, he has that, he has that. Yeah. We never question how did how they, it happen. Absolutely. There are countries in this world where if you especially are working in certain areas of, of national life, your bank account is monitored. You, you will be asked questions when there's a certain influence in your account mm-hmm. as to how did the money come there? What is the money for? And it's not about being a public servant. In some countries, private citizens, the accounts, you, they, when the money hits your account mm-hmm. and is beyond a certain quantum that it typically receives, a question will be asked where did this money come from yeah. what documentation covers the money that has come to your account just to ensure that integrity the value that they hold as integrity and corruption is kept to the barest minimum or eradicated completely from society yeah. and that's the essence of our holding this conversation yeah. we live in a country where every day in day out we hear accusations allegations of corruption we believe that in this month of 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 of, of money and money investment, investment yeah. it's good that we underpin our conversation on integrity, with, with, on integrity. that's the big word integrity that's and right. uh, you're going to be hearing this uh, across as all our 24 speakers join us here on the morning express on radio xyz 93.1 and also on tv uh tv xyz as well if you're listening to us wherever you are in the world it's my xyz online.com my name is prince minka and uh, that's neil armstrong motagbe the program's director here at xyz broadcasting limited so it's time now for us to introduce our first speaker in the money and investment month Thank you very much for staying with us here on TV XYZ and Radio XYZ 93.1. Our guest for the Money and Investment Month is Nana Dr. Michael Ajakum Ado. You know what? He's the owner of uh, Karma Group of Companies, now known as uh, Mikado Holdings, uh, which now employs over 400 staff and boasts of 11 wholesale and retail outlets across the country, Ghana. Two pharmaceutical uh, factories, a microfinance firm, a real estate business, and a multi-purpose conference center as well. He's also the elder of the Church of Pentecost. In July 2016, he was installed as the uh, in Kabomhine, that's the unit chief for new job in traditional area in the eastern region of ghana he's currently a member of the council of uh, center of scientific and industrial center he's a president of the ghana red cross society he's also a lecturer of entrepreneurship at the university of ghana pharmacy school and he's our guest he's our first speaker out of the 24 speakers that we're going to have in the month of October. Am I not lucky? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're the man. <laughs> and I say, it's like, we, we are blessed. Yeah, we are blessed to have you. <laughs> we are blessed. <laughs> right. Good to have you, Nana. And uh, thanks for your time uh, and, and also joining us here on Radio XYZ and also uh, for our viewers, TV XYZ as well. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes. Good morning. And I hope you're you're doing fine. Yeah, 
yeah, with all joke. these plenty companies, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's why we have to share with the youth. Absolutely, yes. 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 And and the, the journey certainly is going to be interesting. But let me quickly bring in Neil, yeah. uh, because I've introduced our first speaker. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say that uh, we 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 owe um, Doc a, a very a very uh, a great great deal of appreciation. Exactly. Um, he's been very supportive of the work we've been doing here in leadership in in thought in in, in shaping the thoughts of our listeners. Yes. If you recall, when we did the leading July series, Doctor was. Yes with us he shared some thoughts on leadership yes. what it takes to be a leader i mean we remember his presentation of that day yes. the energy the insights yes. and some of which we've actually em- embedded in our culture as a business and in our lives as people and i'm just excited this morning seeing him here again mm. on our day one to give us the maiden presentation let's call it the inaugural address the if, inaugural you like. address. If, you, if you take it from the legal perspective <laughs> the opening statement yes and after he delivers the opening statement yes. we are blessed that a an elder of the church of pentecost mm. is also going to duly launch our money, money and, and investment, investment month. month. I'm, I'm excited. Looking very much forward to his presentation and interaction with you this morning. We're looking forward to a very wonderful month. We started in a ve- on a very very high note. Thank okay. you very much, Doctor, for for obliging Thank us. You. Thank, Thank you. you so Great. Much. So Thanks, so so let's have you uh, you know you know open open the whole conversation for us mm. uh, before we even get into your presentation proper right. for today. Yeah. And I know our listeners and viewers are ready for you uh, mm-hmm. with your mm-hmm. phones you know in your hands ready to text in questions as well. On the WhatsApp line zero five zero triple zero double zero three nine, and on Facebook Radio X Y Z ninety three point one. Look for TV X Y Z as well on Facebook, and let's do the conversation together. But let, let's have you just give us a general thought of the money and investment uh, month, growing wealth through integrity. Right. I think I'm privileged to be on this show, considering the fact that I started my life at the age of seven. And I'm now 67. Wow. So 60 years of business life. Mm. At the age of seven, I was selling my mother's groceries. And uh, I go to sell at the village market, go to school, and said. come back to do it. So I would say that all my life had been in business. Mm. So if you talk about integrity, for 60 years, survivor in business in this country, awkward wild talk about all the challenges in this country and having gone through without any blame or blemish i think i have something to offer the country Mm -hmm. and that's why choosing me i feel proud to also come on the air and then share what goes into integrity Mm. in fact i've written a book Mm. on reliability which is about the same Mm. Mm. to be a reliable person a credible person legitimate can also make your business without make your money without any uh, additions exactly. Be, maybe juju or whatever witchcraft whatever mm. i've searched and searched and there's nothing like that mm. that legitimate business and that's what we are going to share this morning okay so at least it gives you uh, listeners and viewers a fair idea of what we're going to go uh, through right now so we'll do the proper launch later uh, mm. as you also watch on tv and of course listen to us on radio so nana Yes, take us away. Let me remind listeners, we are here with Nana Dr. Michael Ajakumado. He's the owner of uh, Kama Group of Companies, and now, which is now known as Mikado Holdings. And uh, he's our first out of the 24 speakers uh, mm-hmm. that we are having in the uh, Money and Investment Month. So, Nana, take us away. Uh, can you repeat the theme for this month? Creating, creating, creating and growing, and growing wealth, wealth in, in integrity. integrity. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Lovely. Yes. Creating and growing. And growing. You create... And we grow it within integrity. That's right. Uh, so growing would mean sustaining it mm-hmm. and living it for uh, successions. Right. I believe that if one has to ask himself, who am I? And what do I want to do? So if you ask yourself, who am I? Am I an entrepreneur? The answer may be no. I'm an academician. I'm a professional lawyer or professional. This. I don't need to create business. But whatever it is, your mind should be economic. Right now, our president has gone all the way to United Nations and saying and promising that we want to live out of AIDS, mm. which is true. Because the potential of any country is here in Ghana. If you read the Bible, Genesis chapter 1, everything in the Garden of Eden is in Ghana here. Mm-hmm. So why are we complaining? So all of us, how to have the mind of throwing away poverty 
and living in affluence. How do you create the wealth? And how do you grow it? To be a rich person, and I want you to listen to me attentively, it's not how much money you make per month, per year. There are a lot of additions. Your pockets becoming bigger and bigger. No! Mm -hmm. It's how much you are able to save. Our dear Donald Trump, mm. in one of his books, wrote that it was at a traffic light that a beggar asked him for one dollar. That particular time, that particular day, he owed the bank 19 billion US dollars. Wow. So he was below zero. So the, the beggar, if he had given him the one dollar, was even richer than he was at that time. I learned a lesson from that book telling me that it's how much I'm able to save and not how much I'm able to make either through a loan, through the bank. You are giving 10 million Ghana City and you think you are rich. You are very poor by 10 million Ghana City. So every month when you are being paid 500, 300, 1,000 and you are able to save 50, 50, 50, by the end of the year, you have 600 already. You are richer by 600. So to create wealth means develop means of making money and how do you do it with integrity you have to go by the law society has set up norms within a society mm -hmm. if you make money and then uh, society decides or shows that no you did it illegitimately your name is all over i don't think it's fair to you and your children it casts a slur mm -hmm. on your integrity on your name on your reputation so when we talk about creating wealth with integrity, mm. then we are talking about credibility. Mm. Do things right. Pay your taxes well. And even go further to do your corporate social responsibility fairly. So, yeah. That is what we mean by creating wealth, growing it with integrity. Mm. And I'm happy for XYZ coming out with this theme. Absolutely. Let's take them one after the other. And uh, of course, let's start with the process of creating wealth. Wow. It's all about the mind. So long as you are not crazy, so long as you think that you are not sick in your mind, that starts from there. And it doesn't matter the age. You have kids that have created wealth. You have very old people that have also created wealth. I have observed in Ghana here that our mind is filled with doubts and fear. Fear of what? Fear of witchcraft. Mm -hmm. If you sit through and listen carefully, everybody's prayer, be a Muslim or a Christian, at the end of the prayer, he curses somebody. He curses an enemy. And who is the enemy? All you know, the enemy is yourself. So in effect, we are cursing ourselves. Whoever doesn't want me to grow, God should punish him. Meanwhile, you are not growing yourself. You have blocked up your mind mm. not to grow. Mm. Because the resources are there. Mm. And what when we talk about resources, what are the resources? The air, the sun, the land, mm. water. All these are free, mm. my dear friend. They are all free by nature. So who are you blaming? You are blaming your mindset mm -hmm. not to identify these resources, put them together to form a business. Mm. And who is coming to help you? Nobody is coming to help you. So our forefathers complained. Nobody helped them. Mm. Our fathers are complaining. Ourselves are, we are complaining. complaining. Our children will also complain. Exactly. And so long as nobody is coming to our aid to tell us what we need to do, we'll continue to complain till thy kingdom come. Okay. It should cease from this October month of 2017 that XYZ has taken it up to educate the people. Mm. It will be interesting to know how, what, what really it will take for, for you to have that paradigm shift in mindset and, hmm. and, and, and focus it's all about on education. the process of creating wealth. Education. Mm. And uh, put the whole thing under the purview of the pastors and teachers in this country. Pastors are also teachers. So the teachers should take it up to educate the children. If a teacher himself believes in witchcraft, believes in an enemy who is not making him work well, 
teach well, write notes, and write books for that matter, then it's a problem. Mm. So the mindset change should come from school and, of course, from the home as well. In my home, for the past 20 years, I established that there should be no mention mindset. the vocabulary mindset. called One. Satan or the devil. And the, I don't see him. And, and the reason for that? And the reason is that the more you hear in your ears, the more you talk about it, the more you see pictures of the devil or skeleton, blah, 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 the more it gets implanted in your mind. How do we transfer this principle to what you're saying in terms yes. of building a mindset? So building a mindset is all about free the mind, freedom of the mind. What you see, your eye sees. As you are looking at me right now, watching me on the television, it's not your eyeball which is seeing me, it's your brain. As you listen to me right now through the airwaves, it's not the ears that are listening or understanding, it is the mind. And if you go to the Bible, those Christians who want to listen to me and listen carefully, attentively, go to Matthew chapter 13, verse 13. And Christ gave them as a parable that seeing they see, but they see not. Mm. Hearing that they are hearing, but they hear not. Neither do they understand. Mm. Which we see a lot in the system, but we don't see exactly what they are, the uses of these resources mm. to us. Free the mind. If you free the mind and develop the mind very well, you will see opportunities, plenty opportunities. What is it that blocks our mind from seeing I've already told the opportunities? That we block it with fear. Fear. And doubt. Who creates it? By the, the way we are being educated. And every day, everywhere in the whole country, people are talking about witchcraft. Yes. We are talking about juju. We are talking about the devil. The devil. The devil. The devil. And I, I, I wonder what the devil is. And who he is. And where is he? You, and then you go to churches and say, stamp on the devil with your uh, size seven feet. <laughs> I mean, the devil is all over, spread. Like, we'll call it the whole world. Mm. In the whole I church premises, the surface. And you are using your uh, size seven, seven to stamp on him. <laughs> he will be laughing at you. So there was this story where the pastor told the congregation that mm. next Sunday, I'm going to bring the devil mm. to this church. So that we all see it and we'll bury Satan. <laughs> so lo and behold, the Sunday came. Those who came in red apparel came. Those in black also came. They were going to see the devil and bury the devil. The pastor brought a coffin. <laughs> Opened it. And the whole church, they filed past the coffin. <laughs> so with their hands at their back, you go and you watch the devil in the coffin mm. and then you go and sit down quietly in the meantime the pastor has put a mirror at the bottom of the coffin now it's opened so you stand there you look at the devil quietly and you go and sit down so about 200 people came they all filed past the coffin so at the end of the day they have seen the devil and who was the devil themselves <laughs> in fact because they saw their images in the, in and the mirror Paul, <laughs> also told us in Galatians chapter 5 yes. verses 19 to 20 21 that the fruits of the flesh mm. manifest itself for everybody to see mm. idolatry this that drunkenness death whatever ogi these are fruits of the flesh that you see and those who do these things will never inherit the kingdom Never inherit the kingdom. Meanwhile, Christ has also assured us in Matthew 6, 33, that seek ye first the kingdom and its righteousness mm -hmm. and all Behind riches, television, houses, XYZ, everything will be at your beck and call. Meanwhile, you are doing these things which the flesh is unable to overcome. Where, is, where lies the devil then? It's yourself. And in there, when it, uh, the Bible talks about witchcraft and idolatry, it means that you are creating it yourself. What is witchcraft? Witchcraft is the mindset of envy and jealousy, which is pertaining to everybody in this country. So we are all practicing witchcraft. Hmm. Because we are envious, because we compare. And the moment you start thinking evil about your employers, you are practicing witchcraft. witchcraft. So where lies it? 
and ask anybody at the age of 20 30 80 they will tell you they have never seen witchcraft at school i remember one time you were saying that oh looking through the bush in the night we saw light bright and dim mm -hmm. bright and dim mm -hmm. and as kids we were in the youth youth were exuberant so no that's the witches are there <laughs> there's some of us challenge that let's go there let's and see. see what is happening mm -hmm. if we can meet them we went into the bush and it was people looking for snails oh. using lantern. <laughs> so when the, the, the light is being blocked by the leaves, okay. then you see them. <laughs> and when it goes there, I mean, right this I, I have searched and searched and I realized that it's not true, mm. that there are real watches. Then people say that, ah, why then that uh, it has a name? And why is it also in the Bible? Bible is a coded book. That's why in the olden days, it was only the father who could read the Bible. Mm. The moment it became everybody's book, that's how we started misinterpreting everything. Mm. Right from Genesis to Revelation. Mm. There's a lot of misinterpretation. To suit the order of the day. And we are being not fair to the Bible itself. If that's not the case, then how come that we have lawyers, we have doctors, if you are sick, which is rare, which is natural, one way or the other, you'll be sick. And doctor will also have to treat you. And in fact, Christ was the first pharmacist that came, put the saliva with the soil and mm. put it in the eye and everything became correct. Mm. So eye drops is important. Mm. So if you are getting blood and you are, are getting pains in your eye, it's nothing to do with a Satan or the devil. You go there, you get your treatment and you're all right. It's all about the mind. And I pray that our pastors throughout their theological training also have a, a fair idea. These wives that brought the Bible to us have overcome these things and they are doing their business legitimately through the norms of business administration. Mm. We teach. We teach business mm -hmm. in the schools mm -hmm. as we teach the Bible. So if you feed the mind and the mind has no doubts or fear, then start to pick up knowledge mm. and experience which comes from either in the classroom or listening to mentors mm. or listening to other people that will teach you the intricacies of business it's mm. not simple it's not easy mm. that will take away your doubts it takes away your fears and then start to become innovative mm. start to create because we don't have that kind of knowledge that kind of education Ghanaians have become copycats. Mm. We just copy. Oh, my husband, I saw this lady selling mm. a roasted plantain. Just a charcoal and a plantain. And I see That's cars good. pulling That's up to buy. One. Why don't you buy me that pan? <laughs> and they gave me this, that. And then she copies. Right. Another one copies. In a stretch of one kilometer on the East Legon Road, <laughs> about 29 women selling roasted plantains. Absolutely. If I were a graduate who have done home economics or agri, oh, my friend, I would just take uh, uh, a room and call it Plantain Boutique hmm. uh -huh, and then put air conditioning there. What do I do? I buy some ovens and roast plantain. Hmm. Because Ghanaian, Ghanaians like roasted, roasted plantains. plantains. But this time, you innovate. I've been talking about Barbary. Now, everywhere you see barbers and they're improving mm. their law. Now, I'm talking about roasted plantains. Mm -hmm. so I want people to start going on to roasted, roasted plantain, plantain and then improve upon it. Mm. I think if you are able to do that, then you are creating wealth. On this note, I'll try to tell viewers and listeners mm. that there are six factors of business which I call six M's. Mm -hmm. You need to have them in place to run your business. Number one is manpower, which is you yes. and your staff and your customers. Number two is money. Number three, machines that will help you, the computer, the calculator, mm -hmm. the machines, the oven, the mail, the stairs, and so on. The materials, the raw material that you may need, either artificial or natural. Mm -hmm. Then the market, marketing, mm -hmm. the minutes. Mm -hmm. Minutes is time. You don't have to wait. 
you can start from school you can start from today and in no time you'll be all right absolutely so 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 again walk us through the 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 six m's the six m's yes try to remember okay number one you i'm asking you manpower exactly (laughs) clap for yourself you've done very very well the number two is money money yes machines Mm -hmm. materials marketing minutes in bracket time time and manpower is you yourself Mm -hmm. and your mindset which is now free exactly free of doubts and and even fear fear take it away from you Mm. and when we are talking about doubt and fear take away envy and jealousy Mm. don't be jealous of other people's relationships don't be envious of your your friend's uh, achievement or his money Mm. perceived money Mm. we are here in this country People are giving all kinds of accolades because they have money. In no time, two years, three years, their name is down the drain. Mm. Please, is that what you want? You want a successful name, a reliable name, Mm. a name that will inspire other people. Mm. That's integrity. And I want to emphasize that the brain, as we know it, has two lobes, the left and the right. Research has shown that left handles logic Mm -hmm. analysis arguments language that's the left special meaning limits Mm -hmm. you have a wall and so you see through this studio you see that there are limits that's the left hand side of the brain Mm -hmm. assessing the volume and the area of the room the right lobe rather handles imagination as you sit here, you can imagine your room, exactly. your village, the faces of your friends and your family. Mm-hmm. It's an imagination. If you've traveled before, you you can see Ho, mm-hmm. can see the streets of KJT and Kumasi, mm-hmm. can even see London or New York. Mm-hmm. That's how much your brain can stretch. And that's coming from the right imaginative brain. I dare say that most Ghanaians are using the left logical brain more than the right why do i say that the right handles imagination and that's coming out of artwork entertainment talent which is sports yes fine art how many Ghanaians appreciate fine art Mm. how many Ghanaians will go to their homes that they will display artwork they will see the artist's drawing they appreciate the seat. Oh, you've done it very well. It looks like Obama. It looks like <laughs> Rollins. Rollins. Uh-huh. But they will never go there and ask how much it is for him to buy one and put it in his house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If he dares ask, and the artist say, "Oh, it's about a thousand Ghana," the first reaction is, "We are." <laughs> That's just some curves and some, some inscriptions. We are in a thousand. <laughs> Ten million. Yeah. No, no, no. He won't buy. Okay. The musician has come to launch his cassette mm. at church. The whole afternoon, she will display her. Then say the first CD goes for 500 Ghana. <laughs> the first reaction again, we are 500. <laughs> You'll be sitting down. Mm. Got the right imaginative brain. That's not appreciate what has gone into composing the song. Mm. There's no appreciation. And so they will not buy until it drops down to five CDs per CD. And I, in, in town, is that how much they... Uh, mm, sorry. Yeah. And I mean, Kotobi Sai. Sai. Then it goes by its place one day, two days. And that's the and end that's of the it. story. We don't appreciate art nor music. And that's why our artists XYZ. are poor. Mm. That's why our musicians are poor. Talent is of late that these footballers are making it. Otherwise, nobody cares about your talent. And I have a feeling that if, if you appreciate talent or you appreciate art, yes, you would also have the ability to critique and review it. Yes. And and as you do that, it would it will push those behind the fine art mm. to go beyond you know what they do. So, so you don't necessarily if as have a group of people work. we could you could appreciate art as we are discussing. Yes. And people will buy them into their homes kitchen sitting room bedrooms i tell you in no time the whole ghana artists will be rich mm. even at school we laugh at them if somebody is doing visual arts we laugh we laugh at them but i'm telling you 21st century oh 
these academic courses are going to be a thing of the past. Mm. It's talent that's going to rule. And for now, if you agree with me, talents pay unimaginably. Absolutely. You can't understand why the footballers are paid millions of pounds sterling. Yeah. Yes. And those who are using their face, yeah. Mayweather, at one mm -hmm. go, 500 million US dollars. Yeah. The basketball players. The musicians. Too. The musicians. Mm. Now it's tri trickling down to Ghana. Mm. And very soon, the talented ones are going to make it in life. So I, I, I would say that uh, when we talk about manpower, creating business, mm. ask yourself, what is my talent? And don't ask yourself how, how much uh, certificates I have. No. Very soon, whatever you want to do within the academic work, the software would do it better than you are doing. Can there ever be a situation where you ask yourself if you have a talent and the answer will be no? No. Everybody has a talent. But you say no because you don't know what it is and how your talent is. How do you so identify? Maybe another time we have to talk about it. how to identify, identify your, your talent. talent. I know parents see talents in their children, but they suppress it and kill it. Mm. At, two, at two years old, the child is playing drums. Exactly. He might be one of the best drummers ever in the whole world. Hey, you are making noise. Stop it. To the extent that they even carry canes. Mm. If you don't stop, you are, you are disturbing me. I will beat you. And then you lock up that talent. Mm. The girl is singing. Go out there and make your noise. Outside, she will sing louder than before. Mm. The words are not coming out clearly. To you, it's noise in your in your ears. Mm. To her, she's singing lumba song nicely. <laughs> you say, hey, shut up. I've got visitors. Mm. If you don't, I'll cane you. You lock it up. And through that, I know there are some kids that will be drawing on yeah. the floor. Yeah. Say, hey, you know how much I bought the time? <laughs> stop it. <laughs> he doesn't stop. He goes onto the wall. Yeah. And on the wall, he still will complain yeah. and then assess the value of the paint and use that to cane you or to stop you, to lock up your talent. Mm -hmm. So you go all the way, SS University, your talent is already lost when you were already two years old. Because it's been locked up. Yes. This uh, the Venus Williams mm -hmm. and Serena Williams, yeah. at the age of four, that their father bought them the racket. Mm -hmm. And they are the number one, making millions of dollars out of the talent. Mm. We should start to identify talents and then encourage. People have come to me as a consultant or as a mentor that their children are always in the kitchen, always trying to braid a doll. I said, ah, fashion. The girl wants to go into fashion. No, no, no. I want him to be a, a doctor. Lawyer, I want <laughs> him to be an engineer. And then we kill it. Yes. XYZ. That's what we are doing to our, ourselves. So the manpower is a problem. Our mindset has a problem. Right from home, we go to school. At, at the same time, our teachers are also killing. A lecturer told me that I don't deserve to be a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. Just by mere my name, Ado Michael, coming from Swisha. He has been very Swisha. I say it's not on the map. <laughs> so you can't see it. By somewhere near Koforodia. Yeah. It's a village. Said so then you don't deserve to be a pharmacist. Wow. And now I'm a fellow of the pharmaceutical society. Mm -hmm. He nearly killed my, my dream. To the extent that at the level 300, he failed me so much that I had to repeat level 300. Wow. A whole lecturer, instead of encouraging me, rather destroyed my ambition. But I'm not the type. I'm a survivor. Yeah. So I managed to scale through it. I'm challenging all the youth listening to me now and watching me that don't let your parents kill your talent. Mm -hmm. Bill Gates left school in spite of the fact that the parents were forcing him to finish the university. He did, he saw his talent and now he's richer so many thousands of percentage than the parents. Mm -hmm. Go out there and be the seamstress that you want to be. Mm -hmm. Go out there and be the cook or the chef that you want to be, be you a male or a female. Mm -hmm. You go to Golden Tulip, there's also another lady, Barbary, the men. And the men enjoy it when they put the hot, warm uh, towel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, and they will make their money. Mm -hmm. So manpower, we are talking about manpower. Free your mind. Mm -hmm. Use the right imaginative brain, eh, which is for imagination, mm -hmm. and see your talent 
and go by that. Okay. Let me take advantage quickly and uh, let me just announce to our listeners that uh, this is the Money and Investment Month uh, and of course the Money and Investment Series here on Radio XYZ 93.1 and also uh, later on TV XYZ. Now we're here in the studio with uh, Dr. Michael Ajakum Ado. Uh, he's the owner of uh, Kama Group of Companies now known as Mikado Holdings and already we've, we've walked that journey of uh, exactly what it takes for you to first of all create, grow and uh, you know uh, as aware make wealth and, and, and ensure that you have you have to, to go through that in, in integrity. We've, we've already gone through the six M's which are crucial uh, in as much as we want to create and grow wealth in integrity. Uh, let's let's move to other areas. I've got some of your messages coming in. I'll be sharing them with with uh, you know uh, Nana, uh, Doctor Michael Ajakum Hine shortly. Uh, but let's let's move to other areas beyond the the, the six M's. Uh, yeah, the, which is more important. Which is more important, usually. And we're trying to find out how the mind within the manpower mm -hmm. can help you develop. Uh, your business so with your free mind now number one have a brain wave have an idea every morning when you wake up instead of thinking about XYZ. other issues mm. from today think about what do i need to do mm. what did my eyes see mm. during the day of yesterday mm. What did I hear about businesses? I saw people selling in the street. I saw this craftsman. Mm. I saw this artist. I, I heard this. I heard that. Then in your brain wave, ideas will come. Mm -hmm. Have an idea bank. Write them down as they come across your mind. Meaning have a clear vision. Set up an objective in your mind that in a year's time, must be able to control something and this is something you must do on daily basis daily basis daily so you have a part by your bedside which i will call a to-do list eh? you have a to-do list so as the ideas come in your mind you write them down mm -hmm. you write them down then find a need for the people that is the third one mm -hmm. the need of the people mm -hmm. who are ready to pay for it mm -hmm. Right now, I don't know whether you know the need. Mm -hmm. Look at Uber. Mm -hmm. Has come to stay. You register your vehicle on that online, and then you become a taxi driver. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you don't have a yellow and white uh, <laughs> painting on your car. Exactly. But you are a taxi driver. The guy is using his brains. And people are signing on. People are using Uber. Because he identified yes. the need. When was the last time, Prince, mm -hmm. that you went to the post office to buy stamp? Don't even remember. You know, we have workers who Sally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so things remember. are changing. Yeah. So people are now moving into selling mobile phones. Because mm. you don't have time to go to the post office to buy a stamp. Mm. Very soon, banking will be the same. And if you hear many people are being sacked under redundancy at the banks, mm -hmm. it will tell That's you that the next five years, ten years, there will be buildings called banks, there will be no human beings. Mm -hmm. So you are reading accounting, uh, finance and business, uh, uh, banking. Hey, you went to the university, did ITA. You have first class ITA certificate. These days you go to the airport and then you buy your own ticket online and then you check in yourself. Mm. Things are changing. Mm. So find a need for the people mm. who are ready to pay for it. And that becomes business. I've already told you about this roasted plantain. Exactly. People need it. Mm -hmm. And they are ready to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Go in there and open. Now go to uh, somewhere near Laboni. Mm -hmm. That's straight to, uh, in front of Laboni Senior High School. Good, good businesses are opening up there. Mm -hmm. Seriously. And I, I wonder whether that is Ghana. You enter, you are like in your Europe or in America. Mm -hmm. The next, the fourth one, is identify your talent. Italian. What can I do best? When you ask Prince, get up and do this and sing. You can sing. Uh -huh. So why don't you go out there and and come out with beautiful music yeah. and songs? Yeah. Huh? You have a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. What are you using it for? I'm, t I'm asking you. <laughs> what are you using it for? Radio. You're on the radio. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> what else can you add? 
a lot more uh, voice voice over artists to be an MC exactly and there's a business for crying mm. people now they, they can cry when somebody is deceased <laughs> and then they can employ you <laughs> and you can dramatize and cry with your nice voice oh, yeah and if you cry with tears yeah. coming out it's 200 cities yeah if you cry and insult it's 300 cities <laughs> with, with swag if you cry and roll <laughs> on the ground it's 500 i mean this kind of business which is coming up <laughs> yeah Seriously, this yeah. Paul Berries is a beautiful business. Yeah. And I was wondering why Ma when Mandela died, mm -hmm. nobody went there to do it for free. Mm -hmm. He would have been captured by VOA and BBC. Yeah. And that would have been a wonderful business for yeah. Ghana. We have something like this in this country that we can share the whole world. Mm -hmm. So those of uh, people watching me or listening to me mm -hmm. who have these Paul Berry uh, businesses, please make it international. Mm. Then location. Location is also important. Where do you create your business? If it's a mindset business, then you can do it in your bedroom. Mm -hmm. But if you have to sell roasted plantain, you have to be a barber, you have to be this, then search for an area where the human traffic is heavy. Mm -hmm. And I beg Ghanaians, please register your business, no matter how small. It can be a sole proprietor, it can be a limited liability company, so that you can do it legitimately. Now, now I realize in, in a bit to uh, innovate, you know, a lot goes into understanding what the current market is, what people are doing, yes. what else you can bring on board. Now, the last time I spoke to another, another business uh, person, he actually indicated that you need to do research. And in doing research, would it be crucial for you to involve a lot of people, especially when you're just starting and you don't have money? What do you do? Research is asking around. Mm -hmm. Asking around. Uh, research does not mean you have to do the book kind of research, marketing research. Mm -hmm. No. You have to just ask around. Because all you know, interestingly, there was a guy who wanted to do a business center. Went for a container. Decorated it so many uh, times. And did everything bought all the computer, whatever, only to be told that that area has no telephone uh, <laughs> connections. <laughs> and so it becomes useless. <laughs> you see, he didn't ask around. Right. And then there was another couple that brought a lot of money from XYZ. Nigeria, yes. put under their bed for nearly three years, only to be told that there was fire in the house and got bent. Anyway, we didn't know what to do with So it. you need to ask around. Ask around. And I know you've got more to share with us, uh, as, as I also bring in our listeners who have also got uh, some questions for you. Uh, uh, but we'll do this uh, right after this.